Good morning, all my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to our live video podcast. Some people call this a yarn podcast. Some people call it a crochet podcast. I call it having coffee with my yarn peeps. <laughs> Well, we're going to start the day off with a clink in, clinkity clink clink. I'm drinking Aldi coffee and I found my Irish creamer and sugar free. So I'm a happy girl today. <laughs> mm -mm. Clinkity clink clink clink. And the next thing I want to do is it is September 12th, 2023, and it's International Crochet Day. So it's our day to celebrate. Everybody go out there and buy some yarn. <laughs> or better yet, click my link to go to Premier Yarn, get 10% off, and get some yarn. <laughs> International Crochet Day. What fun it could be. If we made this a great big holiday, don't you think? <laughs> Any day to celebrate yarn and crochet, I think, is a good day. <laughs> well, um, I just want to let you know, my neighbors across the street are getting a new fence, which is fine. I don't have any problem with that. But you might hear a zzz, zzz every now and then because they put the poles up a couple days ago. And today they're putting up all the wood and you know they go zit, zit, zit when they when they hook them in so if you hear that it, it might even be max snoring so it sounds just like that so <laughs> my little maximo he snores like an old man <laughs> he is an old man anyway <laughs> anywho um let's see oh a lot of people have been asking about this uh, blanket. It's not a blanket. It's actually a shawl that's behind me. Um, I, I, I wore it around the other day, and it's beautiful. It's called the Autumn Chill Wrap Shawl. It's a really super fun shawl, but I wanted it to kind of give a pop of fallish colors. It's gem tone, super pretty. You can find it in my on my YouTube channel. But anyway, I figured you'd probably ask about it, so i tell you what it is. It's called Autumn Chill Wrap Shawl. Now, I have my table filled, and I have two different things down here. So we have a lot of yarny goodness to talk about, okay? I mean, after all, it is International Crochet Day, right? <laughs> I just think that's so cool that we have our own day to celebrate. <laughs> all righty, let's just jump right in. I'm going to bring us over to this other camera. Um, what we're, the first yarn we're going to talk about today is the coffee shop yarn. Let's get that gold yarn out of the way. Um, I've talked about this yarn in the past, but I just got this one in. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has like these uh, grayish tones and they almost look silver. It is a striping yarn with blues and grays. It's called, let's see, the color is called True Blue. Coffee Shop Yarn, 284 yards a cake, 3.5 ounces. It is 85% acrylic and 15% wool, which is one of my favorite blends because you're getting the softness of the acrylic the warmness of the wool and by putting them together you get a really sturdy yarn at this yarn let me pull some of this out so you can see this it's super pretty it has a really fun sort of twist on it and it's beautiful now it is a light three which is totally fine with me it's a really um what you what you would call a smooth yarn to crochet with Okay, and you can get these in packs of three from Premier Yarn. Here's some more information right here. 85% acrylic, 15% wool. You get 3.5 ounces or 284 yards on each one. It's a light three. You can machine wash it. Do not bleach. Do not iron do not tumble dry and the reason you don't want to tumble dry is that wool in there will felt so what i like to do with these is put them on the gentle cycle when i make something with them 
put them on the gentle cycle in my wash machine, and then lay it across the top of my dryer. That way, when I do a load of towels or something later, the warmth of the dryer will help dry it. But if not, you can just lay it on a towel, whatever you're making, and it will dry. All right, there are nine different colorways, and I really hope that you go over to, uh, you know, use that link that I have underneath this video, and click on over there, click the yarn tab, and look at these yarns because they are absolutely beautiful. The other one that I used was like a brown and cranberry. It was gorgeous, and I cannot even remember what any of the names of them are. But this one's called True Blue, and I just love the how it looks almost like a silver in there. It, and it has a sheen to it. Super pretty, has a beautiful twist, and they're super easy to use. And I have plans to make what I'm calling a dude hat and scarf. <laughs> I think this would be a beautiful set for a gentleman. Uh, ladies, too, because we like blue also. But an, it make, make a nice Christmas gift. And I want to show you in the bright light there how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? All right, that's the coffee shop yarns. And we have to like it. I mean, coffee shop, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set those aside because I've got a couple other things I need to show you. Now, um, I want to give you an update on the Stitch Please yarn. Okay, I told you I would tell you my opinion. And my opinion is they're amazing, okay? So I've got my box here that it came in. And I started playing with it a little bit. Look, isn't that beautiful how that stitches up? Look at that. That is gorgeous yarn. It's a really smooth yarn. It, it flows really nicely on your crochet hook. I'm going to see if I can get you a better look at that. There we go. Okay, I am writing a pattern for this. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it is an absolutely fun pattern and gorgeous and useful. Um... And these are all the different colors that they sent me called Stitch Please. This is a three weight. And um, Super Wash Extra Fine Merino. So that's upside down, isn't it? <laughs> Super Wash Extra Fine Merino yarn. I love this yarn. I absolutely have loved working with it. And I do have a pattern coming out for it probably the middle of next month because it's going to be a little bit more bigger pattern it's not going to be real simple it's going to be easy but it's not going to be you know like a washcloth it's going to be quite a bigger pattern and i'm so excited um, about using that yarn it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous yarn okay so again go down hit that link go check it out on the Premier website. And the Stitch Please comes in a three weight, a four weight, and a five weight. So you can kind of pick, mix and choose which ones that you would like to have. And they all have different amounts of the amount of colorways that they have. All right, now, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is the Pioneer Woman yarn that we've been uh, discussing lately. I'm going back over to the camera. Okay, so I was able to find all the skeins that I need for our crochet along. And I have decided that we're going to make a throw blanket. It's going to be a sample blanket. And I'm going to call it the Five Spice Sample Blanket. I think it's a really fun name because we're going to use all five different colors. And it kind of goes with the Pioneer Woman and her cooking spice five spice we're going to use five colors and we're going to use five different crochet stitch patterns i'm hoping to have this ready to go the last week of september and this is going to be a light throw so how much yarn do you need i'm not sure yet <laughs> but i know you're going to need at least one of each color and then one additional skein okay so each one of them has three and a half ounces, which is, where's my yardage, 394 yards. And we're going to be using one of each color with our five stitch patterns. And then we're going to use one more for the trim. And you can choose, 
I'm doing them in a certain order, but you can choose to mix and match your orders, and you can choose whatever color you want on the rim, on the trim. This is a three-way acrylic yarn. Now, you're going to ask me, do I have to use Pioneer Woman yarn? You don't. You can use any three-weight, medium-weight, sorry, I thought I was going to cough. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to cough on you, but that's okay. You won't be able to fill it. <laughs> you can use any light three acrylic yarn for this project, okay? I'm going to be using the um, Pioneer Woman, one of each skein of the five colors, and then one additional for the trim. And I'm going to tell you, I really, really, really wish there was a teal that was a solid Okay, so I am going to go to Hobby Lobby. Um, I was there the other day, and the one slot that had a lightweight number three acrylic was empty that, had, that said teal on it. So I'm going to go back and see if it matches, okay? If not, I might just go ahead and use um, the royal blue for the trim. But to be honest with you, some of these colors, even though I'm going to use them, I don't think they blend as well as I would like them to, okay? It's just an opinion. And when you're doing a sampler blanket, it's okay if they don't exactly uh, matchy, matchy. They can still blend. All right. So let me bottom line this for you. <laughs> I'm going to be using one each of all five of the yarns. Let me click back over there so you can see. One each of the five yarns. And each yarn will have a stitch pattern and we're going to be doing the stitch pattern where we do where we do so many rows and then we repeat those rows okay and this is going to be a throw blanket and the reason i'm doing it this way is really selfish because <laughs> not really selfish but i um bought a brand new comforter from pioneer woman that is in teals and i'm making this particular uh throw for that bedroom okay and Kim, you're right. It is very hard to match yarns sometimes. and But it helps if the yarns kind of blend a little bit better. Okay? But don't worry. They're going to look really nice. I've already been working on it. I was thinking about showing it to you, but I'm not completely sold on all the stitch patterns that I've been testing yet. Okay? And so the, hoping to have this all tested and ready to go the last week of September. Okay? And then we'll do... It's going to be in five different videos. And then the trim will be in an additional video. So there'll be six videos. And I'm going to do it this way. That way, if you don't want to use that particular stitch pattern, you can always continue with the one before, or you can just um, switch to a different one. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be really smooth and easy to adjust and change. Because I think you need to use your creative juices. <laughs> I thought I saw a question. Oh, I, I don't know what she, that question that question is. I'll have to come back and check on that one. I get it. Sometimes the comments move really fast, and I'm trying to catch it. I thought I saw the question mark, but oh well. Anywho, <laughs> now where do you get the Premier yarn? Or the I'm sorry, I'm stuck on Premier. Where do you get the Pioneer Woman yarn at? Okay, there's two ways you can get it. Go to your Walmart and see if they carry it. If they do not carry it, talk to somebody and ask them to order it in for you. Okay? If they, sometimes they will. I talked to the person at the Yukon Walmart, and they said, yes, we're getting it in. It should be here on this date. I went that date, and it was in. Okay? Remember last week I said I couldn't find it, and I was going to have my husband stop at the other Walmart? He didn't have to. It came in when they said it was going to. The other thing that you can do is go to walmart.com and order it right off the website. And you can order it to be picked up at your store. That way you don't have to pay shipping, okay? Sometimes they can do that, sometimes they can't. It depends on if they have it in the area. For instance, I um, wanted, what was it I ordered? I can't even remember. Oh, my uh, rug for my kitchen. I wanted the thick mat that was the Pioneer Woman mat to match my kitchen stuff. My store here in Yukon didn't have it. So I went online and I ordered it to be picked up at this store. Worked out perfect. <laughs> you know, so they will work with you on that stuff. 
okay? I really would like for you to have the Pioneer Woman yarn and to, and to do it along with me, but if you can't get it, any acrylic lightweight three yarn will work, okay? And that's why I'm telling you, each one of these is three and a half ounces, which is the 394 yards, so that if you don't have this one, you can get what you need, okay? So, the, the Pioneer Woman Five Spice Throw Blanket Crochet Along, I am hoping to have it ready to go that Monday of the last week in September. And I am really loving the way that it's going. There's just one of the stitches I'm not really sure about, and I might change it. And so I'll have to pull some, I'll have to do a little rip, rip, ripping <laughs> and change that out. But anyway, I'm really excited about all of these projects that I was telling you about that we've got going. Okay, and so those are the yarns that I wanted to talk about today. The Coffee Shop yarn, the Stitch Please yarn, both of those from Premier Yarn, and then the Pioneer Woman yarn. Okay, if you came in late, like you just popped in, um, oh, returning yarn, you know I never do that. I always figure, you can, Hobby Lobby will do it, Michaels will do it, Joann's will do it, and of course, Walmart will do it. Um, you can return yarns if they're not right, you certainly can. I never do, because I always think there's certainly something that I can do with that yarn. <laughs> it's like I can't give it up. <laughs> <laughs> all righty so anyway what i was going to say if you missed out on the the yarny talk at the beginning of the video um when we're done just go back and watch the beginning of it it just takes a couple of minutes you know to render um and then go back all right now what did we do this week at posh pooch designs and i'm going to show you this gorgeous falling leaves I'm calling it a wrap shawl. It only measures about 12 inches, but that's wider than a regular um, scarf. It's a wrap scarf, I said shawl. And so we're calling it a wrap because it is long and it is a little bit wider and it is absolutely gorgeous. Well, um, I was worried that the yarn I used was too busy. And I'm gonna click back over to this other camera again. Um, this is the yarn that I used. It's impeccable from Michaels. Um, you need about one and a half of these. I have just a little bit left here. And if you want to make it longer, of course, um, it's a medium weight number four. And this yarn itself is called Falling Leaves. And I thought I'm just going to stick with that name for that uh, scarf because it is Falling Leaves as far as the fillet. Okay. And this is how the pattern looks. I did the demo in this gold and it's absolutely gorgeous in a solid color as well. And you can see they make these little shapes that look like leaves falling off the tree. And then we did a trim on both ends. And you can see it looks a little bit open because that's what I'm looking for because I want the shape in here to look like a leaf as well as the shape in here. So it's kind of an illusion, okay? And then, of course, these ends. And I love the loopiness of this because I want it to be open and lacy for fall because it, with, the weather hasn't gotten cold yet and you might just want a little pop of fall color in your wardrobe. All right, now some other yarns, if you don't have this impeccable and you don't want to get it and you just, maybe you think it's just a little bit too busy for what you're looking for, I have some other options here for you. All right, this one here is the Autumn Yarn from Red Heart Super Saver. I don't have the wrapper anymore, but I believe it's three and a half ounces. And it's really pretty and I really like it. And it's also a little bit more warm and it will work perfectly for this project. Another one that will work really nice, I think, is this one from Michaels. Okay, this one is called Cinnamon. And it, it is a ombre striping yarn. And I think this would be absolutely gorgeous in this pattern as well. And then I have one more option for you, which is the Premier Basics. And this one looks a little bit more like this one, only this one has lighter orange and a little bit more of a gold tone. And so these are some great options, all medium weight number four yarns that you can get. This is from Michaels. This is Red Heart Super Saver. This is from Premier. And this is from Michaels. These are both from Michaels, actually. <laughs> but anyway, there's some other options, and any of them will work. 
you can use a solid, you can use an ombre, you can use a variegated, and you can even choose like to use, you know, your own solids, but stripe it similar to the way this one behind me here is striped. Okay. And the ones with the large striping um, sections, those look really great as well. When you're using a super busy yarn like the, like, you know, this one, sometimes it's a little bit hard to see those shapes. And I kind of like how it works on this one because it gives it a little bit of an illusion. But some people don't care for that. It's a little too busy, but they still want to make that open and lacy style falling leaves scarf. And so I wanted to give you some more options. I absolutely love it in the gold. I mean, I, this is the demo that we used for the video, and I think it's beautiful. And those leaves just pop right out. You can see the trim, really pretty. And it's a really easy pattern. It's like, a, I think, a six row or seven row, one, two, three, four, five, six row repeat. Um, so what happens is once you do those six rows, you just continue to repeat them until it's the length that you want. Now, I repeated it 12 times, which gave me 13 repeats. But if you're maybe you're taller and you want it to go longer, or maybe you want it more like a stole so you can wrap it across your shoulders and your arms, just make it as long as you want to until your yarn runs out, <laughs> you know. So and it's a beautiful pattern. It's easy and it's fun. And I love learning and working with, with fillet type patterns because I think they're super fun. And, and also, it's not just a um, mindless repeat, even though it is a repeat, but it is an easy repeat, okay? So there's some options of yarn. And I know a lot of the other yarns have fall colors as well. I believe Hobby Lobby has a real pretty fall one as well. And um, so... I the craft smart one that is a variegated that one there is one of my favorites um, I made if you want to see how it looks stitched up I made the uh, updated version of the blessings shawl using that it's a blessings prayer shawl I believe I don't have it I gave it away <laughs> I don't have it in my closet I gave it away but it makes a beautiful shawl and if you go over and look at that YouTube or even go over and look um, on Ravelry, the Blessing Shawl pattern, you can see how those colors blend and, and, and lay on that particular yarn. It's really pretty. And it is one of my favorite yarns for fall. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing we did this week was the washcloth. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my camera back down so you can see these. I'm going to lay them out so they're the right direction this time. Okay, so those, those are in the way just a little bit. But this is our fall leaf washcloth. There we go. That orange is so bright. I had a couple people say, why did you do that in red? Well, it's actually a really bright orange. The orange is a premier yarn. And then the, the beige is, I love this yarn, just your basic beige. And then these, are, these two are, I love this yarn. Now, one thing I noticed is when I did this one, I made my um, leaves a little bit too loose. And so they're drooping just a little. Don't do that. Make them just a smidge tighter so they lay really pretty. And Anna Guthrie, she was talking about doing a swatch. And that's a really good idea. Just make you a little swatch and practice that leaf. I do have a picture on both the blog and the YouTube channel with little arrows showing you exactly where you put those stitches so that you can practice because it seems kind of complicated but once you get it down it's super easy and the whole rest of the washcloth is single crochet stitches because that's what I wanted was a nice uh, sturdy washcloth and I really love the colors of this one I, I couldn't remember the name of it and when I went in there I couldn't even find it so I don't know if they even make that one anymore but they are there are a lot of beautiful fall color um, yarns out there or you can do it in solids and I do kind of go with solids when I'm doing a video because I have done some uh, um, you know in variegateds and stuff but it just in my opinion makes it a little bit easier to see if I do use a solid and so I really love this washcloth I think it's really pretty you know as your guest washcloth with these beautiful leaves on there. And the truth is, if you don't want to do this section in a solid, you could always do more rows of those leaves, you know, to make it more leafy. <laughs> but what I'm trying to teach a new, because I, this is called the leaf cluster. And when you're learning a new 
technique or stitch pattern. I don't want you to have to do it over and over and over again and it gets frustrating. I just want you to do a few so that you can get used to doing them. Maybe you can use them on another project. All right, so that's our uh, fall leaf wash cloth. So we did a lot this week, didn't we? <laughs> the other thing that I did this week was the video I did last Wednesday, and it was just for fun. And it is five things that I just do not care to crochet. And I, I, I really, really loved your comments on that. I, I, when I do those videos, I mean, I like you to comment on all my videos because I really enjoy reading your comments. But um, the comments on that video were so much fun. And everyone, you know, I, I loved the, the comments. People were putting their favorite things that they don't like to crochet and the things they do like to crochet. And it was just fun. And I learned a lot about you. And I hope you learned a little bit about me. So anyway, and, and just to be clear, just because I don't like to crochet something doesn't mean that I won't, okay? <laughs> it just has to do with things that are my favorites. All right, now, let's see. The last thing I wanted to talk to you about was my crochet hooks. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is I got a lot of questions this week about them, and it was really interesting. I'm going to put this over here real quick. These are the crochet hooks that I use most of the time. I have a set from Hobby Lobby that I really like, but the letters were starting to wear off. And so I pulled these out because these are the ones I use on a daily basis. The others are ones I just kept for videos. These are from Clover. And I bought this set, the F through J, at Michael's about eight or seven, seven eight years ago. Um, because I do have arthritis in my fingers. I have short fingers, a little bit chubby, and I can't use those big crochet hooks. I just can't. They're too big for me, the, the ones with the big handles. I have some of my bigger crochet hooks that have big handles on them, and I really struggle with them. And I do better with ones that have more of a, a flatter crochet hook. And then this has this little rubber thing right here, and I really like it. Okay, now I don't know if the whole set is still available at Michael's because I bought it as a set. And then the funny story is <laughs> I uh, we were moving um, <clears throat> from one house to another when we lived in Parker. Uh, that was back when we lived in Colorado. And I kept uh, a bag of crochet in my car. I lost the H hook. So I went back to Michael's and just bought the H hook. And when I got home, I couldn't find it. I'm like, what did I do with it? It was in a package. And so instead of looking like maybe it had, I mean, I checked all over my car. I checked all over everywhere. I looked in my yarn bag. It wasn't there. So I went back to Michael's and I bought a second H hook. So then I had ended up with three H hooks. And so when I got home, I had bought just the crochet hook from Michael's. I had just took the plastic bag and wrapped it around it and stuck it in my purse. So when I got home, I ended up with three H hooks. And I wasn't going to take one back. <laughs> you know, I mean, I used them. <laughs> so long story short, I don't only have three H hooks. I have four. Because <laughs> I've bought one recently also. <laughs> so... Well, um, so if you're looking for them, uh, Kim says she's looked for them and hasn't find, found them. If you're looking for them, I suggest looking on Amazon. Um, because I think my daughter bought one recently. Um, or she was going to and I gave her another set of clover that I had that were pink. And they had um, a kind of a rubbery handle. I don't care for them because uh, to me, I feel like it's just not comfortable. It's just me. You know, you have to use the kind of crochet hook that's going to be comfortable for you. Yeah, you need to check on Amazon. I also saw them on, um, oh, what's that other website? Um, Etsy. I did see some people that were selling off some of their sets on Etsy. So just just look, you know. Um, but if, if you're looking for these particular ones, I really like them because the way the letters are put on, they're, they're the ones that I have anyway, they're sort of sunk into the plastic. And so they're not just on top. They're not going to rub off. And I want you to be able to see the letter and the millimeters for the hooks that I'm using. Okay. And that, so I wanted to just show you those. They're my favorites along with, and I still use the other ones that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's just the letters as I used them, the letters and the numbers rubbed off. And so I took a, I take a Sharpie and I wrote it on there, but they rub off as well. And so rather than, you know, 
you not being able to see it, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll make, I'll use the crochet hook where you can see the letters and the numbers. All right. So I think I've covered everything. Um, we talked about all the, all the yarns, the videos, the new patterns. And just one thing before I go, the crochet patterns that you find on my YouTube channel are all my designs. Okay. And they all have a written pattern with pictures for each one of them. And if you're looking for that, underneath the pattern on YouTube, underneath the video, there is a description box. It'll have a little arrow. My phone has a little arrow, but my iPad says see more. So it just depends on which app you're using. But if you don't have, if it doesn't say see more underneath the video, click the little arrow pointing down. And underneath that is a description box. And you will find a link that says crochet pattern link and it's all in capital letters just click that link and that will take you over to my blog where the written pattern with pictures will be located some of my videos from about seven years ago some of those may not have a updated pattern which we're working on updating those with new videos and patterns but most of them do of my thousands of, of videos out there most of them will have unless you click on one like i said that's super duper old and really, if it's super duper old, don't watch it. You're probably going to think I'm silly. <laughs> I was watching some of them with my granddaughter the other day, and we were laughing so hard at the silly things that I said and did. I'm just a silly person. And as my grandkids say, they say, Oma, that's what they call me, Oma, because that's German for grandma. They say, Oma, you're weird, but in a good way. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love being their Oma. <laughs> All righty. Well, that's all I've got for you. <clears throat> and I hope you have a fantastic week. I see a lot of you are getting rain like we are. And so uh, it's it's a nice day. I was looking at my phone. I was going to tell you how, what the day. It's 65 degrees. That is a long ways from last week when at this time was 101. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> All righty. So again, if you if you're just getting in on the end of the video, make sure you watch the beginning about all the fun yarn that we talked about this week. And thank you so much for being with me. Like I always say, I cannot do this without all of you. I'll see you next week. <laughs>